This is Mikey from Youngstown who asks, I think Russell Wilson is the LeBron of the NFL. Who do you think he is? Okay, I see what you're saying about Russ. Diva factor of late. But I'm going to defend him here. I, I don't know why. I've started to root for him. I think I was first to market saying he belongs with Mike Tomlin in Pittsburgh. Said it on Undisputed going back at least a week ago. I think I still haven't recovered from watching what Sean Payton did to Russell Wilson on the sideline on national TV. Screamed and screamed at him. One of the uglier displays I've had to stomach, and I like Sean a lot. But he did not like Russ. Felt stuck with Russ. And it all just came flying out when he thought Russ had audibled out of whatever play he'd called. And he let Russ have it, and Russ took it to his credit. I'm rooting for him at Pittsburgh. I think Mike Tomlin, who's not an offensive coach, obviously, will help coach Russ's confidence back to where it should be. And I think they'll be very good in the most loaded quarterback division, obviously, in all of football. But to me, the LeBron of the NFL is clearly Aaron Rodgers. He's won four MVPs. He's the master media manipulator on LeBron's level. I continue to see that Aaron Rodgers is the GOAT. I, I continue to see that and can't stomach it. He's the phony GOAT, just as LeBron is. So he did win. Aaron did that one long ago, far away Super Bowl as a road wild card team with no expectation. He caught the Steelers with Polamalu with a pulled hamstring. Ryan Clark, maybe on his last late career legs, he took advantage and he hit Greg Jennings for the game breaker. He was the MVP. Way to go. He got that long ago, far away ring. Since then, he's eight and nine as Aaron Rodgers in the postseason, and people look without seeing. It's just hard for me to fathom that as I look at Aaron's playoff flameouts that led to his departure from Green Bay, nobody seems to, to look and to actually see, if we go back to 2019, he went to San Francisco and lost 37 to 20. Not all his fault, but his QBR that day was a 23 on a scale of 0 to 100. He stunk. Then he got his first ever home NFC Championship playoff game against Tom Brady. And he stunk late in that game. And he lost. And then he followed it up the next year, again as the one seed. And he lost in the divisional round at Lambeau to Jimmy G's 49ers. And then he ended his Green Bay saga in the final regular season game. All he had to do was to beat Detroit at home at Lambeau to get to the playoffs, and he lost. I know LeBron can be a drama king. But Aaron is all about Aaron. That should be the name of his book, All About Aaron. He always thinks he's the smartest guy in the room. Obviously, he was anti-vax. He lied about it. Got caught. It's the Jimmy Kimmel episode. There was the experimentation with ayahuasca. And now we hear... that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has been in discussions with Aaron to be his running mate, his VP candidate on an independent presidential ticket. 
I don't know if it's just a publicity stunt, but I've gotten the feeling over time that that Aaron would love to be in politics. He seems to have more energy and emotion for political issues than he does for playing football at this stage and age at age 40. The reason Tom Brady lasted to 45 was he was obsessed with football. I don't get the feeling that Aaron really is. He loves playing in New York, loved being the star of Hard Knocks, heading into his first jet season. Loved the false narrative that he could come back six months before anybody ever had off a torn Achilles, baloney, but he got a lot of mileage out of it. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.